Hi, my name is Tom Rennick. I'm a systems architect here at Solutions PT. In this tech bite, we'll be looking at how to make sense of a SCADA alarm system using Process View. We will be first looking at the SCADA application, which is having an issue with a large amount of alarms and there's no way to troubleshoot the issue. Then we'll be using Process View Analyzer software to investigate the various alarm issues. So to begin with, Process View Analyzer is a way of gathering your alarm data from the various different data sources shown at the bottom of the diagram here. So in this video, we'll just be focusing on getting alarms from the SCADA system. So first of all, the alarms goes into the collector and then it's stored in a SQL Server database and then it can be viewed within the Analyzer web portal, which we'll be covering in this session. We're going to be covering dashboarding and reporting. So beginning with the dashboards, these dashboards have been designed to follow the EMUA 191 and the other various alarm guidelines. So you'll see various red indicators to say whether your current alarms are within these thresholds of these guidelines. The reporting have also been designed with these guidelines in mind, and there's over 30 of them out of the box uh, I'll be going through some examples of these reports and so covering some of the most useful ones, such as the KPI report, which incorporates some of the other alarm details. So to begin with, here's a SCADA application. As you can see, there's a huge amount of alarms, which I can imagine some of you are very familiar with. And um, these are split into various different parts of the plant. This is a water production plant and there's different pump stations. You can see there's, there's a huge number of alarms at the different pump stations. You can see them in a big list here, but there's not that you can see them coming in. There's not really a way of analyzing them. So that's where process view can come in handy. So all of these alarms have been imported into the process view analyzer. And this is the nice web portal that you get presented with when you sign in. So you can actually organize process view into how your application has been organized. So we're looking at stormwater, which is the same from the application. And you can see the four different pump stations categorized here with the alarms associated with them constantly coming in uh, to the process view database and being presented here. And you can also have a drop down here for the various different parts of your uh, alarm system as well. So that covers the sequence of events page for the alarming. Next, we'll go on to a fleeting alarm report and how you can analyze the alarms coming from that report. So if I head over to the report section and I have a look at the fleeting alarm report here. So it's under the alarm details and fleeting alarms. So if I generate that report since uh, the alarm since midnight, this is a list of all the alarms that have triggered in and out of their alarm state within 40 seconds. So this just gives you a list which you then need to get a bit more detail. So what you can do is you can actually copy one of the uh, tag names from the list, if I copy that, and we'll analyze the history of this particular tag and how many times it's triggered in the last 24 hours. So if I now move over to the historical alarm page. So now that we've moved over to the historical alarm page, as you can see, this covers the historical alarms going back in time and you can add various different filters. So what we're gonna do now is paste the tag name into the tag name column to filter by that name. So this presents a list of all the times this tag has triggered and the various different alarm states it was in. So if you then want to do further analysis of this outside of the process view software, you can select many of these records and actually export them to a CSV file if you need to, and then take them to wherever you need to go. This will download it in your browser. So the next thing we're gonna move over to is various different reporting examples in the reports page. So the first example we're gonna look at is the alarm distribution per area, plant area. So as you can see, this is split the various different alarms into different areas. You can see what percentage of alarms are triggered per area. 
Similar to this, you can look at the alarm distribution by priority. And this will give you a breakdown of the different distribution per priority. As you can see, 59% of the alarms are priority two and the EMUA 191 guideline is 15%. So you can see this is way outside the guideline. So that's just straight away something that you can work on within your alarm system. The next example I'll show is the tag report. So this is just a simple report showing all of your various tags like in the historical view. So you can actually filter them at these if you want. Say if you want to just look at the times that the actual alarm is triggered rather than returned to its alarm state. So if we click on the filter section here, we can filter it by alarm state and only include P2, for example. So as you can see, this has generated a report which is filtering only by alarm and only by priority two alarms. So another report example is the most frequent alarms. Um, so if I have a look at the most frequent alarms by tag, this gives you a quick breakdown, which I'll show you an example in the dashboarding as well. So here you can add some quick wins and see which are your most frequent alarms. And these are the sort of um, bad actors that you need to focus on. One of the useful reports is the KPI summary. So if I have a look at the KPI summary report and generate that. So this report is particularly popular with people using process view because it gives you a breakdown of some of the key indicators from the other reports, such as how many different priorities there are, uh, how many of them are chattering and stale, and it tells you whether you're inside or outside of the target for the Muir. 191 guidelines. The final thing I'm going to show is the dashboarding. So if we go to dashboarding and look at the last 24-hour uh, trend, that's a quick rundown of the alarms triggered over the last 24 hours and whether or not it's overloaded. And you can see there should be 10, but there's actually been 298 alarms. And finally, similar to that report, you can look at the alarm frequency as a dashboard and this gives you a quick breakdown of, as I was saying, those bad actors and see which alarms were triggered the most, like which tag is the most common alarm. So you can see this particular tag has triggered 50 times since midnight. So that's causing an issue. You need to investigate that further. So as you've seen from this video, we've gone through a messy alarm system shown in our application here. And we've used Process View Analyzer to generate some dashboards and reports to help fix this issue. So if you'd like more details on the product, then please visit the link in the description. Thanks for watching.